Now you don't want to see her again? No, not really. I'm uncomfortable with seeing her again. I don't know what this KKW truck's doing, but uh, it sure seems like it, it's having a great deal of difficulty staying between the lanes. and now you want to have it with everybody. Not everybody. <laughs> but she kind of opened my eyes and now I just kind of want to try with a lot of people. Oh, my God. She unleashed the beast. <laughs> oh, man. So, okay. And, all of us, brother. And, Wait. and so you don't want to call her back because you don't want to be, like, exclusive to just dating her now. <laughs> exactly. Have you already slept with other people since your date with her? No, but, like, I... I already went tennis to uh, go on, on another day. You have a what date? did you say? You already what? I went tanning. You, tanning. you went tanning? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What is that? Is, is that like... Oh, this body looks good. Yeah, in preparation to meet well, other now girls. I'm like, now, yeah, now I'm preparing my body to have sex with other people. I shave and... <laughs> I got a new haircut. Okay. You, well, let me ask you this, Swordsman. You got any dates lined up? I, I have one tomorrow night, and I'm really excited about it. I want to see how it goes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Me too, man. I'm really interested. So, basically, she was like a crack dealer who gave you your first hit, and now you're addicted. Um, I don't do drugs, yeah. That's what you're implying. <laughs> no, I'm not implying that at all. Eric, thank you for being honest with us. I appreciate it. Good luck in your quest. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, I do have to let you know, though, before we get you off the phone, that Lisa is actually on the other line, and she's been listening to this conversation. What? Yeah, I've been on, uh, the whole time, I've, I've listened to everything you've said, and it's incredibly shallow. Let me just say that. Like, it did this for you. I felt like I was, like, opening you up. And now, you're supposed to be special, and then you just, like, go, and you're, like, you want to go, like, run around in the streets and, like, taste every piece of candy you can? <laughs> it's so disrespectful. What's going on? I didn't know she was on the phone. I know, Eric. I'm sorry to do that to you. You like lied to me. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie to you. Thanks. But don't you don't you want to just tell Lisa yourself, like, hey, thanks for what you did for me. Now I'm on to the next one. He doesn't have to say I mean, he's already said everything that he needed to say. I heard everything that I needed to hear. But he totally used me. I didn't use you. I didn't mean for that to happen. It just happened that way. It was a mutual agreement. Mutual agreement? Like we signed a contract or something? I mean, I was doing you a favor. You realize that you were a 26-year-old virgin when you met me. I mean... Yeah, I was a 26-year-old virgin. I'm not that anymore. <laughs> Lisa, you don't really feel used by this guy. I mean, I actually thought he was right. Okay, so I don't know what this guy's deal is. Uh, I gotta get out of this lane here. I think, uh, I don't know what this fellow's deal is. I think he's falling asleep or something. I don't know. Boy. That is a scary deal there.
break this up in two segments here.